Welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight I'm going to be doing a talk and chat with you guys. So on Mondays I do vlogs, but because I didn't vlog on the weekend, I thought I would do a talk and chat and let you know how my weekend was and why I didn't vlog. So the reason why I didn't vlog on the weekend is because I was sick with the, with the virus. I am on antibiotics, which I got to keep taking until I get better, which I got to take the medicine very soon. And then I've got to do um, do the water thing for my nose as well tonight. <coughs> so that's why I didn't vlog because of that reason. And the other reason is I was spending time with my family. So on Saturday, um, me and my husband went to Hyperdome and before we met my mum and my dad, we went to the video, um, to the library. So I borrowed some things from the library so these are the movies I borrowed. So I borrowed Kath and Kim um, Series 3. Now, I think I've got this movie because when I was watching it, I'm like, I think I've got this movie. So I borrowed that. Um, <clears throat> my husband borrowed this movie. And he borrowed that movie. And then I borrowed this movie because I love watching Whoopi Goldberg. Now, she's such a great actor. If you haven't watched Whoopi Goldberg... Um, you're missing out because it's such a good movie. I recommend you guys to try and watch it because she's so funny. So, we've got that one. And then this one looks a bit like, um, what's the movie called? Um, I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, it looks a bit like that movie. I'm trying to think what it's called. Um, so I've got this movie anyway. And then my husband got the Castle series. Okay, <clears throat> then I've got this movie that I haven't seen before, so I'm probably going to watch that tonight. And then I'm watching, I'm starting to watch Christmas DVDs now. I know it's not Christmas yet, but I'm starting to watch them because it's nearly Christmas time, so I thought I'll start watching them now. So I've got this movie called The Cinder Cinderella, um, which I'm looking forward to watching. I'm probably going to watch that one tonight. And then my husband borrowed this movie. I don't know what this movie is about, but anyway. And then he borrowed this movie. And I don't know what that movie is about. Okay. This is the movie I watched last night. It was so, so good. Now, this uh, cat, his name is Bob. He names the cat Bob. Um, and it's apparently a true story of a guy living on the streets. Um... It was just so adorable. The sad thing was how he was living on the streets. And then he got some help. And then he went to a house. Um, and um, he was working to make some money for him and for the cat, Bob. And he was a performer. So he used to sing on the streets and um, make money from that. So that's what he did. It is a really good show. It is based on true stories. I said, I actually saw the real person, like when you watch it to the end, you see the real person that was going through that, um, pain. And then this is an actor, of course. And that's the cat named Bob. It was just so good. I really, really enjoyed it. Mitch, where's the cat Bob? It's in the DVD player, isn't it? All right. And then my husband had borrowed this movie from the library. And then uh, we'll be Goldberg again. I borrowed this movie from the library. And this is a Christmas movie called Claws and Claws. I'm thinking about watching this tonight because it looks really cool. So I'm probably going to watch that tonight. So I'm going to leave that out. Okay. And I'm going to leave that one out because my husband got movie case, uh, movie somewhere. Okay. So I was watching this series of this, um, I think last year or the year before. 
and it was so so good and I really liked this series of this movie so I borrowed the series of um of this movie and then my husband is into I don't know what this movie is but anyway so it's an agent movie so he borrowed that one then I've never seen this movie before it's called The New Girl so this is a movie as well that I've never seen now this is really interesting now this is dead like me life after death um so i wanted to watch this um i've heard a lot of people saying that was scary and um what this is what happens when you die um so i just want to watch it and just to see what's all about um so yeah so that's why i borrow that one <clears throat> okay and then this movie is really, really good. I think I've seen this series. I don't know. This looks like the new series, but I don't know. I can't remember. Um, <clears throat> so my husband borrowed that one. And then he borrowed, of course, The Alien. So they're the movies I borrowed from the library on Saturday. So then after the library, we went and had lunch. Um, me, my dad, my mum, and Mitch, we had KFC. We had chicken and chips, and then we got nuggets, and then we got chicken strips. So we had that for, uh, for lunch. And then after that, we went to the reject shop. Um, I can't remember what I bought. Actually, I didn't buy much from the reject shop. I basically bought clothes wash, and um, I don't think I bought much at all. Just probably just cleaning products. And then after that, we went to Kmart. We were just having a look around in Kmart. I didn't buy anything that's surprising. I normally buy things from Kmart, but I didn't buy anything this time. So then after Kmart, um, we went, uh, well, my dad left, my mum stayed with me and me and my mum and Mitch, we went home and we were supposed to pick up my sister Sophie and my niece Isabella, um, which that didn't work out. So we didn't pick them up. So instead, uh, Sophie was busy. So um, instead of that, we came home and we got the guinea pigs ready for bed. My husband was looking for something in his room that he couldn't find. And my mum was here. She was helping me. I love having my mum over. She um, did some dishes and she helped me with the guinea pigs. And I made me and my mum a coffee. And then after that, we took my mum home and then we had dinner at my dad's house. We had, um, so we had broccoli, cauliflower, mash, and sausages, I think it was. And then after that, um, we went home and then we, um, I went and watched a movie and then my husband went to sleep. And then on Sunday, we went straight to where my mum and dad lives. And um, I saw my niece, uh, Isabella, because my mum and dad was looking after her yesterday because my sister Sophie went to do, um, what was it? Some tryouts. She did something to do... Um, in going to a f um Mitch what did Sophie do yesterday at movie world Mitch 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 don't do that what what did so where did Sophie why did Sophie go to movie world again uh, audition. okay thank you um so Sophie my sister went to an audition and then after that um, me and Mitch, we arrived there. Sophie was still at the audition, and me and Mitch, we had McDonald's. We had the Mac Oz for lunch um, yesterday. And then after that, um, we went to Kmart, and I didn't buy much from Kmart, but I was with my nieces and nephews, so I bought a few things for them. I basically bought myself this for a dollar fifty. It's a cleaning brush, so I just bought that. Um, and then after that. Um, we went to Audi's and uh, my sister Ange and my nephews met me at Kmart. And then we went to Audi's. I was looking at all the baby stuff for me and my husband for a newborn. No, I'm not pregnant yet, but we're, as I said, we are planning to get pregnant this year. So that's why we're looking at stuff now. And then we went to, 
Aldi's, I bought two bottles of Coke Zero, some carrots for my guinea pigs. I didn't really buy much yesterday. Okay, so then after that, we went straight to my parents' place and, um, oh my goodness. And then we had tea, we had broccoli, cauliflower, potatoes, um, some kind of green spinach, I don't know what it was. And then we had fish and then we had some sausages again and some Pepsi Max. And then after that, me and Mitch took my niece and my sister Sophie back home. We came home, we got the guinea pigs ready for bed. We got ready for bed and then we hopped into the bed and I watched, I put the, um, the stranger of the cat named Bob on. And then after that, um, I was watching some YouTube and running back to you guys and then I went to sleep. So that was my weekend. Um, let me know how your weekend was. I would love to know. It's actually the long weekend here in Australia for us <coughs> because of the ECA. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the ECA is apparently really good. We have it every year here. Um, so it's basically you see animals, and there's rides, there's show bags, there's, it's a lot. Um, but it costs a lot too, so we didn't go to the ECA this year. Um, so instead we just been doing cleaning because on Thursday this week we've got a house inspection. Um, so we're just doing all the cleaning we can. I cleaned the floors today. So today wasn't as a big day. We went to Hyperdome. We basically just went to grocery shopping, got a few bits of home. Then we went and had Hungry Jacks. Then we just came straight home. Um, and then I did a lot of cleaning. My husband mowed and we just kept the lawn outside, hosed the windows outside. I cleaned the toilet floors inside. And then I took some washing from the garage and inside the house and fold them, put them away, do two loads of washing. And then, um, and then I had a bath tonight. And then after that, me and my husband went to get pizza. We got the pork with onion and barbecue sauce pizza from Domino's. And then after that, we came home and had dinner. And now I'm talking to you guys. So that's been my big, big day. And plus, we fed the guinea pigs and fed Mia. So, yeah. <coughs> so, tomorrow, it's Tuesday. On Tuesdays, I do grocery shopping. Um, so, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. And then, I'm going to be doing a vlog tomorrow night. So, stay tuned for that. I was going to do a vlog tonight. But, it's been a very, very busy kind of day. And, I'm still not well. I've got to have my antibiotics very soon. And, I thought I'd better pick up the camera and talk to you guys and just do a talk and chat so that's what I'm doing tonight so yeah so I've been breaking out in pimples severely I've got one up here and then I've got one underneath my chin my lip and I do not like them whatsoever my wife's not sure. And, um, yeah, so I, I don't like pimples, but, um, that's what happens, I guess. So, I'm just going to move this and put it on the floor for now. For now. Oh. Right. Now, last Friday, I was talking to you about my magazines. So, I have them at the back of me here. And that's what I'm going to be doing with you guys tonight as well. Okay. So. <coughs> you guys liked it. So I'm happy about that. Um, so I'm starting to do some healthy um, options for me and my husband. As I mentioned. And that is what I'm going to be showing you tonight. So I got all these magazines for free from um, my Vinny store. So I am looking through them now. I have done a bit of cleaning in the drawers today, but I still need to do more cleaning in the drawers as well. But I've just done only a little bit. I haven't done really much. Okay. Alright. So the first magazine I want to show you tonight is this one. Okay. Now, 
Okay, so this magazine comes with breakfast ideas, and I better start to have um, breakfast as well. Um, so, okay, so that's what's happening. Hello, boy. Oh, It's cute, eh? Okay, he's gonna go and eat, I think. You go and eat! You go and eat! Yeah? Okay. Alright, so this is about breakfast because um, I was speaking to my sisters last yesterday and I was mention, mentioning what like is the good thing when you're pregnant like not pregnant yet but they said that you've got to eat breakfast and you can't drink too much coffee because I love coffee I love coffee so much I'm thinking about having a coffee tonight that's how much I love coffee um and the thing is I'm gonna have to stop drinking coffee as well when I fall pregnant so eating healthy options is good too plus I'm still doing my group as well so I was supposed to do my group today, but because of the ECA and the public holiday, um, long weekend, I can't do it until Thursday. So I'm booked until next. Sorry, I've got to move the course, Um, till next Thursday now. Um, no, not next Thursday. This Thursday. Um, and I'll be doing my group then. So that's what's happening. Um. So yeah. So. I'm going to show you this magazine because I showed you one on Friday last week. So I'm going to show you the magazine now. Now, um, uh, okay, so breakfast. Um, is the, there's they've got on thirty four thirty six okay so uh, we have to shut the door. Shut the door. Oh. Right. <clears throat> Hello, children. You're gonna fall off the bed, blah, blah. No. Okay. So the breakfast meal is um, mushroom pancakes. I've never had mushroom pancakes before, and it and it comes with bacon and tomatoes. So that is. Well, okay. That is one of the breakfast meals they have. The second breakfast meal is calamari with squid. So I think calamari is a squid. So yeah, that's what it says here. And then it comes with salad. So I don't think that's a breakfast meal. I think that's like um, a healthy snack or a, a healthy lunch meal. I don't think it's breakfast. But this one is breakfast. So I'm going to show you it. Let's do it, eh? Okay. Now, the next part, the next one we have is the choc nut slice. Now, I haven't, don't think I've ever made a choc nut slice. Um, so, yeah, it, I don't know if it looks like chocolate to me, but I'm going to show you the picture anyway. What's wrong? It's being cute. Okay, so then they have um, healthy options for food. Like um, this is for school, uh, for kids for school. So these are these. Um, I'll give you some ideas for kids for school. Okay. All right. So in this lunch box, there's a healthy salad with egg. 
um, and a quiche, and then there's a little bread roll. And then on the side, there is jam biscuits, apricot jam, and then st strawberry jam. So I'll show you that. And that's nice and yummy, doesn't it? don't have to have that for school. You can have it, like, you know, for lunch. Okay. This is salads. My boy's Teddy's quiet now. <laughs> Um, I think I went through this last week because um, I talked about the sausage rolls and the chips. So I've looked into that one, guys, with you. I forgot I did. Okay. So the next one I'm going to be looking into is the Super Healthy. Okay. Let's go in this one. I don't think I showed you this one. Oh. Okay. So this is a healthy chicken and sun-dried tomatoes um, pasta dish. All right, go, go, go. Go and play. Right. <laughs> okay, so this is a pasta dish. I'll just show you it. Okay, what's in it? Let's see. So in it, there's pasta, there's peas, snow peas. So I guess you can use like frozen peas or normal peas, but yeah. Um, there's chicken breast, so but you have it like single sliced. Then there's mushrooms, plain flour, skim milk, uh, light cream, so light thickened cream. And then there's parmesan cheese, tomatoes, nuts, and so forth. So, yeah, it looks like a really nice uh, salad. Okay, so I just found another one, and it's called the Mexican. And so this is like a Mexican um, on a pita bread thing, dish. Okay, so it's olive oil, finely chopped with onion, um, capsicum, garlic, as I said, I as I mentioned last Friday, you can use garlic, um, clovers, or garlic crushed, like in the jars. There's beef mince, sun dried tomato, water, and kidney beans. So there's a few things in that one. I'll show you this one. But yeah, okay. Cocktail hour. Mm, sounds nice. So this is a Singapore cocktail hour drink they make in Singapore. Okay, they use cherry, um, I think brandy. They use a lot of um, alcohol in this, pineapple juice, lemon juice, and so forth. So I'll just show you it. But that is a drink. Looks nice. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Okay, so there's a chicken asparagus salad. Now, I, professionally me, I don't like asparagus. Um, but apparently it's good for you. So these are like healthy options and they're good for you. So there's asparagus salad. There is a steak and mash um, meal. So that is the salad, and that is the steak and mash. Okay, there's a, no, I'm not into that. Okay, the next one is pesto with fettuccine. Okay, so that's pesto with fettuccine. Now desserts. Pavlova. Love pavlovas. I made one last year for Christmas and I'm planning on making one this year for Christmas. So what I normally do, I buy the pavlova base and then I buy whipped cream and then I buy fruit and I basically just add it on top. I make sure the pavlova is like like cool, like cold because I pop it in the fridge and then on that day I make it by putting the whipped cream and veg fruit on it and my family love it. 
And um, so that's what I'm going to be making again this year. So, yeah. So there's the pavlova. I love pavlova. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys love pavlova. Okay. Now, this one is about mandarin and um, cinnamon. So I don't know what it, they mean about mandarin and cinnamon. They're like rolls or something. But, yeah, that's another dessert. Looks nice, though. Before I get back into showing you more healthy options of food, um, I just want to mention thank you for the people that have joined into this October giveaway. I have seen so many comments, and as I mentioned, by last um, the 1st of August, which has already started, um, that I'm going to be reading comments and make sure that you are subbed to my channel, and that's what I have been doing. So, um, I'm still looking at every single comment, um, writing back to you guys when I have time, but I am looking at every single comment and I really appreciate it and all the, um, support through my channel. I really do. And I'm happy that you guys are entering to this giveaway. So if you guys want to enter this giveaway, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to every single show. Don't forget to support my channel. Um, and don't forget to write sweet comments. Don't forget to be subbed to my channel to enter into the giveaway. And, um, yeah, so that's all the, um, things you have to do to enter into the giveaway. You've got to have to be subbed to my channel to enter. Um, I am going to be, um, announcing the two winners of the October giveaway of the 1st of October. So we still got the end of this week. I mean, we still got August and we still got September. But the 1st of October, I'll be announcing the winners. So if you follow me on any of my media platforms, you'll definitely find out who won in the October giveaway. So, yeah. Um, I'll be putting it on YouTube as well. So don't worry. If you haven't followed me on my media platforms, you'll still be able to, to see who has won in the October giveaway. But um, I was just... Um, yeah, I'm so excited. Can't wait to announce the winners. And yeah, guys, just keep going with it. And um, yeah, I'm really happy about doing this giveaway. I really am. So um, as I mentioned, there is another giveaway happening in December. Um, and I'm going to let you know when to start um, doing that giveaway. And I'll let you know when I'm going to call the names out and stuff. And I'll let you know when I'll be sending the gifts to you. Okay, so with a December giveaway, it's only for three people. Um, it will be anywhere in Australia, anywhere overseas. I will send you your gifts. Um, the, the December giveaway is more smaller than the October giveaway. What I mean by smaller, when the Christmas giveaway, you get a Christmas card sent off me. You get a little gift and, wait, you will get... Um, a jury as well. So what I mean by jury, I will probably send you um, a bracelet or some earrings, um, only if I'm allowed to. If I'm not allowed to send earrings, I will definitely send you a bracelet. Um, I have been looking at a lot of jury lately at Kmart and they have so many specials on the bracelets. It's not funny. And I will send you bracelets sent to your um to your um dress as well in the in the um december giveaway plus it'll be wrapped up in christmas paper as well and um i have to put it in a bag to send it at the post box anyway post office um and i'll let you know about one more thing in the december giveaway later on when it comes to that point um but there's a few things going in it not big things as this october one but there is a few things. So in the October giveaway, you'll be getting a diary off me. Only one of the winners in the October will be getting a diary off me. Um, and then the second winner in the October giveaway will be getting um, a product of Zoella's collection. So what I mean by Zoella's collection, it'll probably be definitely, probably be a lip gloss because I don't think I could send um, you can't, I don't think I can send any body washes and creams and things. So I'll definitely send a lip gloss from, um, Zoella's collection. 
So I'm going to be buying that um, probably this Sunday so I can put it away for the October giveaway. That is the, that's with the, the second part of the gift. Okay, so the first person that wins in the October giveaway wins a diary off me. Um, I've mentioned a, um, I'm going to be buying some soap containers as well. So you'll be getting a soap jar off me from Ikea, from Australia. So I'll be sending that as well. I won't be putting any soap in it or anything. You guys can do that when you um, get your prize, um, your giveaway gift. Um, and then I'll be sending you, um, there's something else. Oh yes, and then I'll be making a Halloween card as well and sending that as well. So that's the three things you'll be getting in the October giveaway for the first person. The second person will be get a lip gloss from Zoella's collection. Um, they will be getting a Halloween card off me and they will be getting probably um, maybe hot water bottle cover, maybe a um, lip balm um, as well, or maybe some nail polish, I don't know for sure yet, um, maybe a purse or a handbag, um, so that is in the second one. So the second one will be a bag or a purse, um, I don't know for the second one yet, but I'm trying to sort that one out, but the first one is basically a diary, um, a, a Halloween card, and what else did I say? Diary, Halloween card, and um, what did I mention, Teddy? Do you remember? No. Anyway, um, but yeah, anyway, you'll find out what you'll get, and I'll let you know more info what you will get into the giveaways. But that's what I'm thinking about putting in the October giveaways at the moment. So yeah. So, as I said, please guys join in. I'm just, I just can't wait for you guys to join into this giveaway. It is so exciting. It's going to be a lot of fun for me and for you as well, whoever wins. And, um, yeah. So, back with the um, book, uh, the magazine about healthy choices. Um, I'm just going to do a few more. Um, actually, I'm going to talk about two more of them. Um, and so, I'm just going to have a look in the magazine again. Okay, so... They've got this burger and, and it's, they said this is Monday dinner, okay? Okay, so this burger is with lemon and yogurt. Um, it comes with a veal schnitzel, low-fat Greek yogurt, and lemon. So I'll show you it. That's a really good healthy choice for dinner. Okay, there's two more I'm going to show you. And then I will, talk, and then I will um, have a talk with you guys. Okay, so the Tuesday one is salmon with um, chip pea. So it's a salad. Looks nice, doesn't it? And then the Wednesday one is chicken with apple. So I don't know what that means, but yeah. All right, so that's all I'm going to be showing you tonight in the Good Tasty magazine. So now I'm going to mention... <coughs> <coughs> now, um, I've been watching some YouTubers, um, lately, and some of the YouTubers I'm watching, they are basically picking on other YouTubers, which I don't agree on. Um, so I was watching, um, a YouTuber last night and was picking on Alfie Days slash Pointless Blog. Um, which I don't agree on that, you know, movie at all. Because the thing is, us YouTubers try our best with everything we do on our channel. And we don't need any criticism and we don't need any hurtful or, you know, hurtful comments on our channel. Um, we're here to, to um, do shows for you guys. Um, we're not here to get criticized or picked on through a channel. So, if you do not like someone's channel, then do not talk about it on your channel. About, you know, what they're doing wrong or, you know, things like that. 
uh, because of the reason is, um, like I have mentioned about how what Alfie did wrong, but that was he did wrong there, guys. Um, but I'm just mentioning there's some YouTubers that are mentioning about Alfie Days and Zoella, um, and Chris is in their channels, um, besides the one they you know that happened. Um, about the money for uh, a dollar for 24 hours. Um, that was really silly of him. But anyway, he did say sorry. But the other thing is um, how people have been saying that their channels are dying and how they don't support other YouTubers and how Zoella's using um, us, like us, you know, people in the community um, just using us for money, um, like, you know, like, when you film your channel, you have to make sense, you don't put something silly on your channel just to get some, so many views, um, and pick on other YouTubers, like, I don't understand that, if someone mentioned about my channel dying, and mentioned that, you know, I, take time off on the weekends and I'm pretending to be sick and um you know I'm not I'm here for the money I'm not here for anything else I would get very angry and very annoyed and very destroyed um so you know like when you film a channel to any youtuber in the world you think before you speak especially if you want your channel to succeed not that you got to think how you speak to other people in general because, you know, we're all here um, to do our best and no one's perfect. No one in the world is perfect what they do in life and some people have bad days, some people have good days. You don't know what's going on in Alfie's and Zoe's lives. You don't know what's going on in my life. You don't know what's going in um, Karina's life, you don't know what's going in life for little things, like, you don't know what's going in anyone's lives, so, if you do watch our channels, and my friends' channels, or anyone's channels, please be supportive, and considerate, and, you know, be fair, because when you start YouTube, you will know where I'm coming from, and, you know, I don't like it how I get people on my channel saying, I sub to you, you sub to me, Oh, oh, check my channel out. Oh, it's up to you. It's up to me. No, I don't sub to people if I'm not interested in their channel. No, I sub to people if I'm interested in their channel and they're not pushy, you know. And, um, yeah, like you don't go to people's channels and go, oh, sub for a sub. No, I don't sub for a sub. I support other YouTubers, but I do watch your channels first before I support you. Um, I make sure that you support me back, not like I just sub you and then you just leave me and then, you know, you don't come back. Um, I don't do that because I need to build my channel as well and, you know, I don't do a sub for a sub. So if you do go on my channel and you go, I subbed for you, you sub for me, well, I'm sorry. I need to check your channel first. Um, I need to make sure that I will watch your channel. I'm going to make sure that you are supporting me first, you know, and then I can support you. Um, I'm not just going to go sub to you and then I find out you're not supporting me, you're not watching me, you know, then that's not fair on me. So I don't do a sub for a sub. And that's the reason why. Okay, so what I'm saying is that if anyone gets, you know, nasty comments on their channel, it breaks them down and sometimes they don't want to put a show up. Sometimes they don't want to even put effort putting a show up or talk to you guys or mention things on Twitter or mention things on Facebook or mention things on Instagram because they're destroyed, they're upset, they're hurt because someone's upsetting them on YouTube and talking about them behind their backs, you know. So, you know, if you've got anything to say to anyone, please remember to tell them to their face, not behind their backs. That's what I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, if you guys think that um, I'm right about this, 
please give me a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comment section what you think, what I'm telling you about, you know, is the right thing that we should all be a community of YouTubers and help every single person, you know, you know, give them a thumbs up, give them a nice comment, you know, like support their channels too. Um, I know I've only got to 320, but I still vlog, I still film, I still talk to you guys, and yes, I do love you guys, yes, you are part of my family, and I don't lie about that. Um, and I'm not lying about that I'm planning a family this year either. Um, I will let you know when I am pregnant, I will let you know everything that goes on in my life, and um, yeah. I just wanted to mention all this so you, um, because some of the YouTubers I'm watching lately is ridiculous and very hurtful to other YouTubers and I don't, don't expect that. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, okay, so if anyone watched Alfie's movie of the dollar, okay, he did wrong, but he did apologize, but people are still mentioning it. Like we should, people should stop now, like because it's finished, it's done with, he's done it, he's, he's said sorry, you know, and then leave it as that. Don't just keep mentioning it constantly and constantly and constantly um, just so you can get many views. No point. Like, don't upset people. Um, all right, so another thing I want to mention is Zoella's... Um, I've never bought, like, this thing that Zoe... Um, had last year, I think it was last year, it was a, um, she sold her own, um, advent calendar, and I was watching a YouTuber, and they were mentioning that the stuff in the advent calendar was confetti, and, um, really cheap, and low price, and bargain stuff, when it, and it cost $66, and it shouldn't have cost 66 it shouldn't have cost 50 okay, you can say that, but then you've got to think, because YouTubers that do things to put things up there for you guys, they put a lot of effort into the advent calendars, the clothes, the anything they do for you guys to purchase, they put a lot of effort in it. Okay, it was just confetti and, you know, people think they were crappy products. When I watched a YouTuber that was showing us the products, what Zoella had in the calendar, I didn't see anything about crappy about it. I really wanted to buy one, but I couldn't afford it. Um, these things that Zoe put in the advent calendar box was her choice. And she, you know, as she's been doing so many makeup things in general, she knows what she's talking about and she knows what she's doing. So, you know, I'm actually friends with her on Facebook. And when I'm friends with someone and they're like, they're very sweet people. I don't like how people talk about Zoe, about her, you know, oven calendar. Like, oh, I bought this confetti. Oh no, it would cost me $50. Oh no, I mean, it cost me $66. You know, so a lot of crap. And... You don't know, like, you don't say things like that. Like, you have to really think before you speak, especially when you talk about YouTubers like that. Like, you don't do that. And now someone's talking about her book, her new book she got out, and, you know, how she did it, and she paid money for people to make it special on her birthday, and she gets free cake and free donuts. Who gives a... Who cares that she gets free cake and donuts for her birthday? Who cares? I wish I got that. Like, who cares? You don't pick on anyone if they get free cake and donuts. You know, that doesn't make any sense to me. And I'm thinking, what am I watching here? You know? And, you know, she's a beautiful person. She really is. Like, she's liked a lot of my um, Facebook pages. She's added me on Facebook. You know, she's she's a very sweet person. She really is. I've never met her before, but, oh my God, when I meet her, I would love to meet her. I really would. Um, and the book she's, 
you know, that's coming out this year, when it comes to Australia, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to purchase it because I like helping YouTubers. I like buying books. I like buying things from other YouTubers. I've bought Alfie's books. I've got um, Louise's books. Um, I've got uh, Zoella's um uh, collection i've got her lip gloss i've got her hand creams i bought all that from target um and now i want to buy her book i'm really doing because she put a lot of effort in this guys you know like some people really have to think especially what they do on their channel and say their book is crap and saying they're using people and saying they get free cake and donuts for their birthday like it's like you're jealous you know, like, who cares? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to mention it, guys. Um, it's just really bugged me last night. Really did. And I thought I had to mention it on my channel. Um, let me know what you guys think about this, about free cake and donuts. But the thing is, I'm happy that she's happy that she gets cake and donuts. And who cares if she gets it for free? Like, I'm really happy that she gets cake and donuts. You know, she's she's a sweetheart. She's, you know, as I said, she's a beautiful person. Um, you know, she's liked some of my comments and, uh, you know, I love her to bits. She's such a great person. But then we've got other people talking about her free cake and donuts. Like this one YouTuber that I watched that she gets a free cake for her birthday and free donuts from Donut Shop. Okay, are you jealous that she gets that for free? Like, who cares? Like, you don't need to stress about that. That's just silly. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention it. It just really bugged me. Let me know if you've been watching some YouTubers lately and they've just been like, you know, some of them have just been picking on other YouTubers and it's just not right. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think, what I'm saying, you know, that's right, that... You know, I'm I'm in the right mind and I'm telling you the right thing that it's true that people need to stop picking on other YouTubers. Um do you know what I mean? Like and then like some YouTubers say to me, uh well have, they haven't mentioned it to me, but I've got a feeling they will say it to me eventually one day. Like, um to tell you the truth. Some of the YouTubers I'm watching, like Karina, Life for Little Things and that, okay, they've been YouTubers for two years, okay, they've gained up to two um, thousand subs. Or, yeah, I don't really mind about that. They shows are fantastic. They deserve more subs. They deserve more support on their channels. I'm really happy for them. It takes time for people to get into that stage. And it takes me time too. But I don't mind that my friends have got more subs than me. I really don't. I just love them. I love watching them. I love the. I love them supporting me. I love supporting them. I just love them as friends. I, just, I don't really care how many subs they have. I'm, I wish I could, you know, give them more subs if I can. But I can't because you can only sub to one person at a time. And I want to shout out to those two people that I'm mentioning. I want to shout out to Life of Little Things. Her channels are fantastic, guys. You guys should check them out. Um, and I want to shout out to um, Cheryl and Steve. Her, their shows are great. They have two beautiful dogs. Her husband is such a darling to his wife. Um, they've got a beautiful son. And their shows are beautiful. I love watching them. I really do. And I want to do another shout out to um, Little B. Her shows are fantastic. She um, got a book out last year and it was an e-book, which I didn't buy it yet, but I do want to look into it because um, I'm really interested in her book. So check on those three people that I've mentioned, please. I'll put those links down below so you guys can check their shows out. Their shows are fantastic. They're my friends. I love them so much. I really do. Um, and I just want to say thank you very much to those three people that I've mentioned. And just thank you to everybody out there that watches my shows, 
that supports my channel. You know, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. So I'm going to end the talk and chat here. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I do shows every week except Sundays. Don't forget to click on the notification bell to let you know when my shows are up. Don't forget to sub to my channel if you want to be a part of my channel to enter into the two giveaways I'm doing this year. And yeah, I love you guys to hang around and spend time with me. Why not? Um, I've got some new things happening this year. I've got a um, board game happening this Friday, so stay tuned for that. And maybe a challenge, I don't know for sure yet. And um, I'm doing a cooking show this week as well, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys a lot. Thank you very much for all the support and the sweet comments. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <coughs> <coughs> Check in from the mama. Okay. Say bye bye, Titted. Say bye bye. Say bye bye, Titted. Say bye bye. Say bye bye.